Hey everyone, my name is Caleb and I'm here at Steve Landers Toyota of Little Rock, Arkansas. And today we have the 2020 Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition. The Heritage Edition adds these nice BBS wheels and bronze as well as the Heritage Edition grille, some different seats as well as the badging in the rear that we'll check out in a minute. We've got the special grille here. We've got the bird's eye surround view camera under the Toyota emblem. Behind the Toyota emblem is the radar for Toyota Safety Sense. We've also got some projector LED, LED headlights with the LED daytime running light and a headlight washer down here, fog lights and front parking sensors. And here you'll see those gorgeous uh, bronze BBS uh, wheels. They are some TRD branded with some Dunlop tires on there and they are 18 inches. There also are uh, mud flaps on this model. And coming to this side, we do have body color mirror with the turn signals in the mirror. A Yakima roof rack up top. It looks really, really cool with this roof basket. And we've got the cameras for uh, the Toyota Safety Sense as well. This is midnight black. And coming to the rear, you'll see one of the coolest parts of the Heritage Edition, this Heritage badge. Super cool, looks great. And then back here, we do have rear parking sensors and the spare tire is underneath the Land Cruiser as well as a trailer hitch receiver behind that cover. And to get behind uh, into the back of the Land Cruiser, you just push the uh, button underneath here and it will open up. Just this top portion though is uh, powered and you can just put things in if you'd like or you could just grab right here and this lower part does fold down. We've got a book bag over there for reference for how large this back uh, cavity is for your cargo, and that is the trailer hitch um, that you get with this model. We do have a Land Cruiser all-weather rubber mat, and there are no third row seats in this model, but there is some additional storage right here. You just twist and lift up, and there is a little bit more storage for some gear. And so this just lifts up, and gets put back and then you can push the button right here and it will lower the power lift gate. You can also do that up front or with the key. And coming along the side, another look at that awesome heritage badge. And then feel free to pause at any point that you'd like to get some more information about this particular Land Cruiser. But you can see that we've got the heritage edition all the standard features, and these are the additional features of the Heritage Edition. We've also got a few options here for a total price of $89,704. And here's one more look at the side profile of this muscular and super capable SUV. That roof rack paired with the bronze wheels just looks incredible. Getting inside the Land Cruiser is super easy thanks to Toyota's smart key access. We've got a special Land Cruiser key here um, that's a little bit different from the rest of the Toyota models, but you can just leave that in your pocket or in your purse and come up to the door and grab behind to unlock. You can press right here to lock the vehicle and the mirrors do automatically fold in if you have that setting on. And then you can just grab behind and it will open up the car and, open up and uh, fold out the mirrors. Over here you have a nice matte wood trim with three-person memory seats, all automatic up-down windows and power locks. Over here we've got Land Cruiser kick plates with Land Cruiser all-weather rubber mats and a, power, a full power driver's seat with power lumbar. These are those special Heritage Edition seats with the bronze stitching perforation because they are heated and cooled. And over here we've got some few more functions, those power folding mirrors, there's those headlight washers, front and rear parking sensors, as well as automatic high beams. We've also got the power mirror controls right here, along with panel dim, a trip odometer reset, and a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. A little bit of card storage for parking passes or uh, permits, things like that, and then the fuel cap release and the hood release. So stepping inside, all you've got to do is put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start right here. Once inside the Land Cruiser, you're gonna find a ton of nice appointments and luxurious features, as well as a lot of technology. And so we've got the LCD display in the middle of the gauges right here. And so you can control that by going up and down with this enter uh, toggle right here. And so we've got Eco, uh, the digital speedometer. We also got a sway warning, 
and uh, just turning it off completely if it's distracting at night. Back up to the top, we've got your uh, current miles per gallon, your range, and then back to that eco indicator. And you can go left or right in the menus using this button right here. And so here is some four-wheel drive controls for telemetry and tire pressure and uh, mileage until your next oil change. Furthermore, we've got some navigation controls, some audio controls, and your driver assistance. So this is that lane departure alert any check control messages and the lane departure alert, blind spot monitor settings with some maintenance and oil and uh, the final setting right there. If you ever want to get back to the main screen, you just press this and it will automatically take you to that screen. Over here, we've got steering wheel mounted audio controls, Bluetooth activation as well, or sorry, voice control and Bluetooth. And then over here, we've got the lane departure alert and the following distance for your dynamic radar cruise control, which can be activated on the stalk right here behind the steering wheel. Over here we do have those automatic headlights and automatic variable intermittent speed wipers with rear wiper. Back here we've got the surround view camera button so press that and you get a widescreen view of the um, vehicle. We've also got the pre-collision system uh, turning off the power lift gate and activating the power lift gate. Going to the middle of the screen, there's that surround view camera. Just press once more to uh, get it off. The flickering is just a trick of the camera, but this is the larger Toyota audio system. This is the home screen, so we've got the radio, the climate, and the navigation. We've also got some helper buttons down here. Following that, we do have dual zone automatic climate control, rear climate control as well, so that does make it a tri-zone setup. Pressing climate and going up here, you have a few more climate settings. And going down even further, we've got your volume and tuning knobs with some seek and track buttons, and pressing this does reveal your SD card for your map. And a little bit more storage down here, as well as a wireless phone charger back there and a 12 volt power outlet. Behind that, we do have automatic heated and cooled driver and front passenger seats, as well as a heated steering wheel. And when you shift into reverse, you do have a backup camera, as well as a surround view camera on that side. And some different views right here. If you uh, press right there, you've got a widescreen view. And then once you go to drive, um, this is an 8-speed automatic for the 5.7 liter V8 with uh, some manual shiftability. Over here, we've got our four-wheel drive controls, along with... Um, multi-terrain select and the crawl control. It's kind of like um, cruise control, but for off-roading. So you can set your speed and just steer. And so it's a really great feature. You've got some differential locks, traction control, and the uh, electronically controlled transmission for power mode and to start in second gear for off-roading or snow or slip starts or anything like that. Pressing under this brushed aluminum cover, we do have two cup holders. And this large center uh, padded armrest is two tiered so we do have that top tier and grabbing underneath we do have this bottom tier uh, with, a, with a divider and some even more storage underneath. And so putting this back and looking up top we do have a frameless auto dimming rear view mirror with garage door home link. Up top we do have some sunglasses storage, some LED map lights, and Toyota SOS Safety Connect. The headliner is super soft, it's nice and plush, and it is a um, darker finish for this model. And you do have a single panel, uh, sorry, single panel power sunroof. So you can just touch that and it's a one touch open. And then pressing this lets it slide back and that gives you a little bit more light but if it's too warm, you can also just close the shade. The back seat of the Land Cruiser is super comfortable and spacious, and so you can see that same wood grain along with that premium audio system tweeter, some kick plates in the same rubber floor mat. This is a five passenger configuration with the bench in the back. So stepping up in here, we've got a stadium kind of style seating, and so you can see over the front, and it's nice and tall back here along with some seat back pockets. Right here, um, this is actually uh, quad zone climate control, so we've got two temperatures back here um, for either side, as well as two stage heated seats for both of these back passengers. Another 12 volt power outlet, as well as a pull down center armrest in the middle with a little bit of storage up top, a little bit of storage in the middle, as well as pressing up top in the front and you get two cup holders that pop out. And so putting all this back together, 
you can see that there are air vents in the roof as well as some more LED interior illumination up here. The Land Cruiser is a super great place to spend time and it's really comfortable and really spacious and it will take you wherever you'd like to go. That's going to complete our tour on this gorgeous 2020 Toyota Land Cruiser Heritage Edition. If you'd like any more information about this particular vehicle or any others, feel free to contact us. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.